Welcome downstairs to our broadcast position here at Cuddy Arena. I'm Joe Skinner alongside RJ Rennie. RJ, Wingate coming off of a solid win this past Wednesday and got a huge effort off the bench from Jay Wilson. Clark into the corner. Massey, three on the way. Got it! Big time response for the Bulldogs. Randleman lost it. Clark with a steal. Comes away to Massey. Clark ahead of the pack. Elmore, transition. Good! Wilson steps in, takes the pick from Troutman. Two seconds, deep three from the logo. Oh, what a shot! Hannah Clark from 30 feet hits the three at the horn, and Wingate's going to lead it 38-27 to at halftime. And RJ, we came into this game talking about how Anderson is the leading three-point shooting team in the conference in terms of attempts. They take a ton of threes, but only one of seven in that first half. Is that somewhere you would like to see head coach Jimmy Williams turn his team? Couldn't get it to go. Carter with a rebound off and running. Radcliffe denied. What a block, Josh Massey. Meet me at the rim. Clark again behind the press. The dish to Sullivan and one. Troutman found Clark with a baseball pass and Sullivan headed to the stripe. Well, here we go. This is the third matchup of the season between Wingate and Anderson. The Bulldogs have taken each of the first two. It is the pairing in the unbalanced schedule where two divisional opponents have to play three times against each other instead of two. Wingate and Anderson doing it for the third time today. Between the men and women combined, Wingate is 5-0 and against Anderson this season after the women's team's win earlier today. The men can make it a 6-0 sweep against the Trojans. Bulldogs earning the first possession, and there's Destin Clark back in the starting lineup. A team-high 14.3 points per game and a team-high 7.2 rebounds per game really is doing it all for the Bulldogs and making a strong all-conference uh, resume. And now he's pulling for three, first possession of the game, and it drops. He doesn't shoot too many of them, but he shoots a really high percentage, over 40 for the season so far. Almost shoots 50% overall from the floor. And he is starting to earn the respect of opponents in terms of guarding him out at the three-point arc. Anderson, first offensive possession. Beat down low, Mac Burgett. Going to work on Vontrez Roberts back in the starting lineup, as we mentioned off the top. Here's Jackson Greco. Mason Carver out there with Garrett Dembo. His brother Luke is another great scorer, but missed the last game. And there's a three-pointer for Jalen Hillary. The grad forward from Lawrenceville, Georgia, has gotten a ton of time the last few games, and he has really stood out. Hillary had 28 the other night against Catawba. He's rolling coming into this game. And has not been a regular in the starting lineup as Cottingham turns it over. Garrett Denbo with the steal going to work on Elmore. Elmore hits the deck. Offensive foul. It'll be the first personal on Garrett Denbo. Yeah, it felt like we had a ton of charges in that women's game between Anderson and Wingate early on tonight. And now the older brother of the two, Garrett, picks up the charge here early on. Garrett and Luke both average over 14 points per game. Also have had some injury issues with Miles Jenkins, their leading scorer. So definitely not a full strength lineup for the Trojans today. Donnell Nixon around the pick. Drives inside, no look pass Elmore. Back up top to Clark. Clark driving Hillary, awkward shot, missed it long. The Trojans have really struggled this season. Five and 13 overall, two and six in the sack. That is the bottom of the Piedmont division and Wingate's got another steal. Elmore trailing for three. No good, loose ball comes away to Burgett. 3-3 three, three early, two minutes into the contest if you're just joining us on Flow Hoops. And we've got another offensive foul, this time against Jackson Greco. And the common denominator is Sean Elmore taking the hit. Yeah, usually we'll see him do that at least once or twice over the course of a full 40 minutes. Two charges taken already by Sean Elmore. He is so skilled at just getting in proper position and getting his feet set. Wingate went on the road to Emory and Henry 
the conference newbie in 180 to 78. Donnell Mixon, who holds with the ball, now pass it off. He had 21 points in that game with five rebounds and three assists. Cottingham drives, steps through, the finger roll rims out. Cottingham also had 14 points the last time out against the Wasps. Hillary pulls back, three ball, got it. This guy is on another level. Jalen Hillary, as you mentioned, 28 points last time out. He hit eight three-pointers in the game, and he's two for his first two today. Yeah, and he shoots a ridiculous 45% from three-point lane for his season so hard. That's an excellent number. 16-footer for Nixon, clanked it short. Forget again on the defensive glass. It's an Anderson team that even without the health issues as Carver spins to the bucket for two. Even without the health issues, they've generally played with a small rotation, usually no more than seven or eight guys getting minutes per game. See if that stays the same today with a depleted rotation. Elmore almost traveled, instead outlets to Clark. Steps inside the arc for the short two. Another miss, Wingate. Going cold from the field. Hillary, heat check on the way. Why not? Jalen Hillary making it rain at Cuddy Arena early. Ooh, this guy's on fire. Wow. Just in the last three games, Hillary's minutes have gone up from 18 to 30 to 38. And his production has responded in turn. And there's the turnover. And it's starting to feel like a Trojans home game to our left. Yeah, and those three triples he's hit has got his bench juiced up. Wingate, probably the favorites coming into this game on paper by Anderson, saying hello early on. Throwing a mean early punch to the Bulldogs in this one. This is the 35th meeting all time between Wingate and Anderson. Where the Bulldogs lead the all-time series 25 to nine. Wingate's won six in a row. Anderson looking to make a stop to that mark today. Miles Jenkins back in the lineup after the injury. You can see some tape on his right finger. He's able to turn around and get two. Yeah, and Anderson will welcome him back, averaging almost 16 points and over eight boards a game. He missed each of the last two games. Elmore turning inside, turned away by Jenkins. Cottingham putting the dribble moves on for three. It's good. There's the response for the Bulldogs. 